Huawei's high silicon chip has been stolen, which is extremely alarming. The most worrying aspect is whether the related core technology has been sold abroad. This directly concerns China's security. Recently, under the command and deployment of the Ministry of Public Security of China, the police successfully cracked a case of infringing on chip technology trade secrets, arresting 14 criminal suspects and seizing seven servers storing infringing chip technology. Further investigations by the Shanghai police revealed that the founders and senior executives of the company involved, Zhang and Liu, were former senior executives of the Huawei High Silicon Company. Subsequently, they left and established this chip design company, enticing several former R&D engineers of the Huawei High Silicon Company to join their company through high salaries and stock incentives. This is the case of the once sensational Zhongpai Communications infringing on Huawei High Silicon. Through professional technical appraisal, the infringing chip technology has over 40 technical points with more than 90% identity to the trade secrets of the Huawei High Silicon Company, constituting substantial similarity. Zhongpai Communications has been confirmed to have stolen Huawei High Silicon's technology and its main responsible person is currently unreachable, with the servers already sealed. Firstly, let's understand Huawei's chip technology. Huawei is a leading global manufacturer of communication equipment and smartphones, and its chip technology is also world-class. The most notable is Huawei's Kirin chip, which is a processor designed specifically for smartphones, featuring advanced architecture and technology, and boasting high performance, low power consumption, and high security, the Kirin chip is independently developed by Huawei and does not rely on external suppliers, thus it is unaffected by US sanctions. The latest version of the Kirin chip is the Kirin 9000, based on 5 nanometer technology, integrating over 15 billion transistors, equipped with a superlinear 12-core CPU, a 24-core GPU, and supporting 5G networks and Wi-Fi 6 technology. It is one of the most powerful smartphone chips on the market. So, how was the Kirin chip stolen? This brings us to Zhongpai Communications. Zhongpai Communications is a chip company founded in March 2021, and its founder and core team are former employees of Huawei High Silicon. Huawei High Silicon is a wholly owned subsidiary of Huawei and is primarily responsible for chip development and production, including the Kirin chip. Zhongpai Communications' main product is the Wi Fi 6 chip, which is a chip for wireless networks that provides faster speeds and more stable connections. The Wi Fi 6 chip is also one of Huawei High Silicon's key products directly competing with Zhongpai Communications, according to media reports, Zhongpai Communications founder, Zhang Kuen, was a senior technical director at Huawei High Silicon and was responsible for the development of several near-field communication chips, including the Wi-Fi chip. After resigning in March 2021, he established Zhongpai Communications in less than three months and poached over 20 key technical R&D personnel from Huawei High Silicon. These personnel had participated in the development of the Kirin chip at Huawei High Silicon and had knowledge of Huawei's core technology and trade secrets. When they left, they clandestinely took a large amount of Huawei's confidential information, including chip design blueprints, software programs, test data, etc. This information constitutes Huawei's intellectual property and trade secrets and has extremely high value. Zhongpai Communications used this information to develop their own Wi-Fi 6 chip at an astonishing speed. In May 2021, they completed an angel round financing of nearly 100 million renminbi, with investors including GGV Capital and Jiangbei Jiakong Technology. After another year, Zhongpai Communications completed a pre-A round financing of several hundred million RMB, with investors including Xiaomi Group, Lakeshore Capital, Skyline Capital, and Jiayu Capital, 
Zhengpai Communications Wi-Fi 6 chip has been mass-produced and put into the market, sold to various customers both domestically and internationally, including Xiaomi. According to statistics, Zhengpai Communications' quarterly revenue has exceeded 97 million renminbi, with over 90% of their technical solutions coming from Huawei. Of course, Huawei wouldn't stand idly by while its chip technology is being stolen and sold. They take legal action and have applied for pre litigation property preservation to the Shanghai Intellectual Property Court, requesting the freezing of 95 million renminbi of Zhengpai Communications and its subsidiaries' bank deposits or the sealing, freezing, and seizure of equivalent assets. The court reviewed the application and found it compliant with the law, thus granting the execution. This means that Huawei has gathered sufficient evidence to prove that Zhongpai Communications has infringed on Huawei's intellectual property and trade secrets, and Zhongpai Communications now faces significant legal risks and financial pressures. The theft of Huawei's chip technology is a loss that will be difficult to compensate for, and the biggest beneficiary could potentially be Qualcomm. This is a very serious case because it concerns the security and development of China's chip industry, as well as Huawei's global competitiveness and influence. Huawei is a leading company in the Chinese chip field, and its independently developed high silicon chips have shown outstanding performance in multiple areas, particularly in next generation wireless communication technologies like Wi Fi 6 and Wi Fi 7 where Huawei holds numerous patents and advantages. On the other hand, Qualcomm is Huawei's biggest competitor and holds a significant share of the chip market but lags behind Huawei in Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 7. If Huawei's chip technology is stolen, it will not only impact Huawei's performance and reputation but also give Qualcomm an opportunity to catch up or even surpass Huawei according to the information disclosed by the Shanghai Economic Investigation, the infringing Wi-Fi 6 chip technology involved in this case is highly advanced, and if put into mass production, it will have a significant impact on Huawei High Silicon's market share. The timely crackdown by the police before the infringing chips entered mass production effectively prevented losses. During the investigation, the police discovered that the criminal suspects used highly complex encryption and communication methods in an attempt to cover up their illegal activities. This is a typical case of corporate espionage driven by profit motives. Zhang Kuen, as a former executive of Huawei High Silicon, had a deep understanding of Huawei's chip technology and knew the market value and competitiveness of these technologies. After leaving Huawei, he wanted to leverage his advantages to create a chip company to rival Huawei and fulfill his ambition and interests. He didn't hesitate to use illegal means, such as poaching Huawei's core talents and stealing Huawei's trade secrets. His actions not only harmed Huawei's interests but also compromised the security and development of China's chip industry, as well as China's rule of law and reputation. Huawei's technological strength and innovation in the field of Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 7 are extremely powerful. The company's number of patents and contributions far surpass those of other manufacturers, including Qualcomm. Additionally, Huawei's charging standards are very reasonable and low, reflecting the company's open and cooperative attitude and earning wide market recognition and user acceptance, in contrast, Qualcomm's performance in Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 7 is notably poor, trailing far behind Huawei in both patent quantity and contributions. Qualcomm has even faced allegations of patent abuse and overcharging for patents, leading to antitrust investigations and lawsuits in multiple countries. If Huawei's chip technology is stolen, Qualcomm could potentially take advantage of the situation to enhance its technological capabilities and market share, posing an even greater threat and competition to Huawei. Overall, it can be seen that the theft of Huawei's chip technology is an extremely serious case for China, 
with Huawei facing irreplaceable losses and Qualcomm potentially being the biggest beneficiary. The development of this matter has deeply shocked and embarrassed investors like Xiaomi. They expressed that they were unaware that Zhongpai Communications technology originated from Huawei, and they had no knowledge of Zhongpai Communications' alleged infringement of Huawei's intellectual property and trade secrets. They were deceived by Zhongpai Communications' false advertising and data, believing the company to be innovative and having potential for development, which led to their decision to invest. They indicated feeling strong resentment and regret towards Zhongpai Communications' criminal behavior and promised to communicate and cooperate with Huawei and the Shanghai police to promptly clarify the facts and uphold their legitimate rights. The impact of this incident has caused great concern and vigilance in China's chip industry. They believe that Zhongpai Communications' actions constitute a betrayal and destruction of China's chip industry, a threat and challenge to China's security and interests, as well as a violation and insult to Chinese law and morality. They expressed staunch support for Huawei, the Shanghai police, and the law in jointly combating unlawful individuals like Zhongpai Communications, safeguarding the normal order and healthy development of China's chip industry, protecting China's intellectual property and trade secrets, and promoting China's technological innovation and industrial upgrading.